Lufthansa Airlines is a fictitious mid-sized regional airline that serves over 1 million customers annually. They have implemented the CA API management suite to transform their business and succeed in the application economy. While they are very happy with CA APIM, they now want to ensure they can successfully monitor it. What does Funair Airlines want to monitor? Funair wants to monitor all service-related metrics such as policy violations, routing failures, and success counts, activate automatic detection and alerting of API service latency degradation, and view the historical performance data to analyze service trends. What is Vinair's current monitoring strategy? Vinair uses Simple Network Management Protocol or SNMP for gathering and organizing information about managed devices on IP networks. SNMP typically supports routers, switches, servers, workstations, printers, modem racks and many more devices. What does Vinair want? Vinair wants to monitor the CA API management by using SNMP. Does CA API Management Gateways support SNMP? The SNMP functionality that is included with the Secure Span Gateway (SSG) or Gateway Out of the Box provides excellent monitoring by using the Net SNMP tooling to monitor the hardware. However, there is currently no way to reliably monitor the published services of the gateway by using SNMP infrastructure and tooling between reboots. This is because the gateway does not provide fixed SNMP identifiers for published services. When an SSG is restarted, these identifiers may change, which requires changes to SNMP configurations. Can this issue be resolved? Veneer can resolve this issue by deploying the tactical SNMP agent in the gateway. It helps to connect the SNMP OID to the service ID published by the SSG. How does this resolve Vunair's problem? If the Vunair reservation service is being monitored through SNMP, then a threshold can be set on the policy violations and failed route statistics. Hence, the administrator can be notified if a service is failing to route incoming requests or the policy is incurring violations when it should not be. Also, data such as the average front-end and back-end response times can be monitored and stored in order to generate reports and charts to analyze service trends. Let us now learn how to deploy the tactical SNMP agent in the gateway to monitor it. You have to download the relevant files from the CA API Management Support website or write to api-support at ca.com and request for the tactical SNMP implementation files. Let us first deploy the SNMP agent by using a privileged shell. Execute this command to stop the gateway service. Execute this command to stop the SNMP agent. Execute this command to copy the tactical SNMP agent assertion AAR file to the SSG assertion directory. Execute this command to modify the ownership of the assertion file. Execute this command to modify the permissions for the assertion AAR file. Execute this command to copy the new SNMP usage script to the bin directory. Make sure the past tactical service usage file is executable for all users by executing the highlighted command. We will now edit the relevant configuration files. Please note that it is highly recommended that you back up the configuration files before editing. Execute this command to copy the snmp.conf file to the snmp directory. Execute this command to open the snmp.conf file. Remove the hash symbol from the highlighted line to enable the service. Save the file and quit the editor. Execute this command to open the snmpd file. Remove the hash symbol from the first line and insert the hash symbol at the beginning of the second line. This line indicates that SNMP's log facility via system log is for daemon and it will log all levels. 
save the file and quit the editor. Next, edit the IP tables file. Execute this command to open the IP tables file. Remove the hash symbol from highlighted lines to enable the service. The gateway only allows TCP connections on localhost and SNMP by default, uses the UDP protocol. So, its packets are not included and dropped at the end of firewall rules. Hence, you have to modify the line as given on the screen. Save the file and quit the editor. The last file you need to edit is the hosts.allow file located in the etc directory. Look for the line starting with SNMPD and change localhost to all. This allows access for all the network services. Save the file and quit the editor. Execute this command to restart IP tables. At this point, the SNMP daemon and SSG need to be restarted. Let us now update the Layer 7 Gateway service. The tactical SNMP agent solution uses a Layer 7 Gateway service to act as the SNMP agent for the SNMP daemon. Next, we will log into the Gateway Secure Span Manager and publish a new service to act as the SNMP agent. Select Publish Web API in the Tasks tab. Enter SNMP service in the Service Name field. Enter SNMP slash management slash star in the Gateway URL field. Please note that this must be entered exactly as seen here. Click Finish. Select Import Policy at the top of the Policy Editor. Select SNMP service.xml and then click Open to import the file. Click Save and Activate. We have now performed the following activities Deploy the SNMP agent assertion, modified various SNMPD and system settings, copied the past tactical service usage.sh file into the correct directory, and deployed the new SNMP gateway policy that will act as the SNMP agent. Next, we have to test the tactical SNMP agent. Execute this command to generate a call to the SNMP daemon. Please note that, if SNMP walk indicates any type of connection error, then review the deployment instructions to ensure all the steps are performed correctly. Let us now test how the tactical SNMP agent works. Double click the MIB browser application to open it. Expand service table under the MIB tree. Click service entry to view the service details. Select table view in the operations field. Click go. Let us open the SOAP UI application. Send a request for the Vinner web service. Navigate to the MIB browser application to check the updates. Click Go. Here we can see the increased values in the requests, authentication requests and completed requests fields.